Ever have those days when you wish your vehicle could change into something a little different? This is Retransforming Vehicles. Owning a watercraft usually means you'll have those times where you wish the vessel had more capabilities. But those moments are a thing of the past when you have this luxury craft moored at the dock. On a basic level, it's a boat with a hydraulic system that can transform it from a monohull to a catamaran to a trimaran while also allowing height adjustments as needed. It measures just over 29 feet in length with a width up to 11 and a half feet depending on the configuration. Power comes from three engines producing a total of 510 horsepower which can be upgraded to produce a total of 900 horsepower. Each engine holds eight gallons of fuel for a total range of about 125 miles. Taking off creates a water jet up to three times as long as the boat when using all three engines. Employing the hydrofoil system allows the boat to fly above the water, reducing resistance and slamming due to decoupling from the waves. When the sunbathing platform is opened, along with extending the running boards, it makes for a multifunction platform perfect for swimming, partying, or just relaxing while enjoying dinner. Pricing on this one will range from about $1.4 to $2.9 million. Number 6. Although there's another flying car on this list, I included both because this one is more of a helicopter than a plane. And when I was a kid watching Airwolf, nothing was cooler than that chopper. This two-seater measures just over 13 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, and 5.5 feet high in drive mode, which means you could theoretically store it in a standard home garage. It's powered by a 100 horsepower engine, which produces a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. Its projected range is just over 800 miles before the 26-gallon fuel tank needs a refill. This means you'll have no worries if you have to drive to a destination with better weather to fly around. Speaking of which, flight mode adds 7 feet to the length and 5 feet to the height with a rotor diameter of just over 35 feet. It has a maximum takeoff weight of around 2,000 pounds which requires a takeoff distance of 1,100 feet. The 200 horsepower engine produces a maximum speed of 112 miles per hour with a range of 248 miles. You can have one delivered and ready for both flying and driving at a starting price of $400,000. Number 5. If you've ever been stuck in traffic, it's almost certain you could say a few choice words to relate your feelings towards the situation. As much as we'd love to see this idea become a reality, it was just a one-off marketing stunt to promote HUM, a driver assistance service by Verizon. The vehicle was created to be a literal representation of the upgrade a driver would get by using the HUM service. A Jeep Grand Cherokee was modified with hydraulic lifts that widened to about 8 feet and raised the vehicle high enough to straddle small cars. A switch on the dashboard controls a gasoline-powered generator that powers the hydraulic system and the in-wheel motors while four underbody cameras allow the driver to see what the vehicle is driving over. The vehicle had to be reinforced to handle the extra weight from these modifications, which brought the total weight to about 8,500 pounds. It was built for the commercial over the course of about eight weeks. That seems like a project worth tackling, considering I probably spend more time than that per year stuck in traffic. Hey everyone, while you're trying to figure out how to get your hands on these awesome toys, be sure and click on that subscribe button and ring that bell for more amazing videos from Mind's Eye Design. Number 4. If science fiction movies are any indication of how crowded urban areas are going to become, then it seems fitting that cars such as this will become commonplace. This update to the original EO Smart Connecting car measures almost 9 feet long with a height and width of just over 5 feet each. The pod-like design seems standard for a smart car, but this one is nothing close to stereotypical. When faced with a lack of space, the driver can shrink the car by raising the body back into itself and upward. This lessens the length about 3 feet while increasing the height about 2.5 feet without compromising the size or comfort of the seating area. The interior offers seating for two passengers with large windows all around as well as on top to create an almost uninterrupted field of view. An intuitive auto navigation system, six time of flight cameras at the front and rear, and a 32 line LiDAR aid in driver assistance functions such as autonomous parking. It's still drivable in the shrunken shape, albeit at a reduced speed. Each of the wheels can rotate 90 degrees, giving the car the ability to drive sideways as well as turn in place, making the aforementioned lack of space a non issue. 
Power comes from a 54 volt battery pack which provides power to each of the four wheel mounted motors. It can reach a top speed of 40 miles per hour with a range of 44 miles on a single charge. This model currently isn't set for production, instead paving the way to the possibilities car makers could employ to make cars easier to use in cities of the future. Number three, love might be a strong word, but still, who doesn't love riding ATVs? And who doesn't love riding a jet ski? Really though, if you raised your hand when I asked either of those questions, you're at the wrong party. This ATV jet ski is called, aptly enough, the quad ski. Sometimes the simplest of names is all you need. It measures just under 13 feet in length and just over 5 feet in width with a curb weight of over 1,300 pounds. It gets its power from a 4-cylinder 1,300cc engine producing 140 horsepower for a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour on land and water. It's made for a single person, but it has a bigger brother called the Quad Ski XL which can handle two passengers. Converting from the quad part to the ski part can be done at the push of a button in under five seconds. But don't get any ideas about escaping the cops by hitting the water as the company sells a version for law enforcement as well. Pricing on this one starts at around $40,000 for the standard model and $48,000 for the XL. Number two, flying cars, planes that drive. It all seems kind of gimmicky at first glance. But then again, if you go back as little as 25 years, you'll find many features that are commonplace among today's vehicles. Whatever the case may be, having the option of being in the air or earthbound offers a level of flexibility I'm sure not too many people would turn down. The teardrop-shaped exterior of this one is made from a carbon composite construction. Retractable wings attach to the body directly behind the cockpit with a structural design that has the rear wheels encased in a highly aerodynamic housing that juts out from the main body. A glass cockpit encloses the interior of the vehicle, which is set up using digital displays that integrate seamlessly from automotive operation to flight mode upon takeoff. The configuration allows for easily recognizable controls whether the vehicle is driving or flying. Fixed seating ensures a proper weight distribution with adjustable pedals and controls helping to maintain comfort. The whole thing measures just over 19 feet in length with a wingspan of almost 29 feet. Transformation from drive to flight mode can be done in as little as three minutes. It's powered by a two liter four cylinder internal combustion engine while flying, producing 300 horsepower for a top speed of 224 miles per hour with a cruising range of about 750 miles. When driving, power comes from a hybrid electric system offering 110 horsepower for a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Deliveries are expected to start in 2020 with prices ranging from 1.2 to 1.6 million dollars. Before we reveal our number one pick, be sure and let us know in the comments what you thought of our choices and which one you'd like to see in your garage. Number one. Kawasaki's take on a three-wheeled motorcycle is leaps and bounds ahead of its competitors, on paper. Since it's still a concept, anything can be added as a working feature. I don't have too many specifics on this bike whose prototype model looks nothing short of amazing in person and in the latest promotional videos. It'll have a fully electric powertrain with the single rear wheel providing the drive. Each of the two front wheels has a handle attached, allowing for more intuitive steering and control. The suspension changes the front wheel track from very narrow to wide, depending on the riding mode. The bike has an AI system which communicates with the rider via a heads-up display on the inside of the helmet visor, which provides diagnostic information such as speed, road conditions, and riding mode. The bike offers a choice of riding positions which can be changed while on the move. Sport mode changes the ergonomics for sports riding. Upright mode allows for a more relaxed posture, almost like riding a regular ATV. Attack mode provides a more aggressive stance while bringing in the bike lower to the ground. While some manufacturers can only conceive of designs such as this one, others are building and selling the machines of tomorrow. Where this one will end up falling is anyone's guess. In the meantime, we can still dream. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.